relationships are important, aren't they? We see that in the current situation that we find ourselves in. And romantic relationships play their part in that as well. And so that's why I heartily recommend Seven Myths About Singleness. Now, I know it might seem a bit weird to plug a book about singleness in order to help you think about romantic relationships, even things like marriage. And you may even think, well, that's choice coming from a married guy like you, Phil. But I love what Sam Albury says. He, he says that, that we need to rely on God's word more than personal experience. And he uses the example of people thinking that only single people can talk about singleness or married people can only talk about marriage. When actually he says single people can talk about marriage if the Bible talks about marriage. Married people should be able to talk about singleness if the Bible talks about singleness. He also gives great perspective. He tells us that, that marriage is not ultimate, but it points to the thing that is. For me, this book was brilliant. It showed the, the power and the centrality of relationships. It was touching on friendship, intimacy, family, church, parenting, serving God, challenging assumptions in church culture. And throughout it, it carries this overarching story of God's story and the purpose of sexuality. It's very real. He gives very honest life examples that will benefit both single and unsingle. And one quote that I loved was this, unless we know what our sexuality is for, we won't understand how it's meant to be used. So get involved, read this book, no matter what age or stage or relationship you find yourself in, because it'll totally be worth it.